When people think about getting seed for their garden, they usually think about going to the store and buying a package. However, traditionally, farmers and gardeners used to save these seeds by themselves. Today we're here with Suzanne Hanna at the Allard Street Community Garden and we're going to show you how to save some tomato seeds. So here we are today at the Allard Street Community Garden and I'm going to demonstrate how to save tomato seed. Uh, something that most avid gardeners are interested in, especially if they're growing some awesome tasting tomatoes. One of the first things to do is to determine a cultivar, uh, taste the tomatoes during the summer and if they're awesome, then use a piece of ribbon and tie it onto the plant so you know which tomato you want to save. So I've chosen a purple Cherokee tomato, okay? And I've been watching this tomato for quite a long time. And the best way to save the seed is to take the tomato and slice it in half. As you can see, it's full of seeds. So just take your spoon and um, pull out the seeds and the jelly. You may get a bit of pulp, don't panic over that. And just continue until you've got most of the seeds. So with the rest of the tomato pulp that you have, you can make some awesome tomato sauce for spaghetti. So no waste. Okay, so now once you've got your tomato seed in your jar, fruit flies love fermenting tomatoes. And if you don't want your house filled with them, take a cover like a coffee filter, put it over the jar an elastic band. You're going to put this uh, jar on top of the fridge or in a warm sunny window for a couple of days until you get some mold happening. Don't panic. The mold is necessary in order to save the tomato seed. If the mold is all one piece you can just skim it off. The rest of it you're going to put it into a, into a sieve so that you can capture. Now you can see here at the bottom of the jar, what has just been poured off is generally the seed that's no good or the pulp. So you continue adding water and moving the seed about so that you can get all the pulp, all the mold, and you're going to put it into the coffee filter and try and get out all your seeds. Make sure that your sieve is totally emptied of seeds before you move on to the next cultivar so that you don't mix your seeds together. So what I'm going to do is I've labeled it purple Cherokee, which is a variety of tomato. And once the seeds dry, they become loose enough that they can move freely. You can then take a seed envelope or any other small envelope that you have and mark on there the name of the tomato. And I will store them in a cool, dark, dry spot ready for next year's planting. Tomato, saving tomato seed is very, very easy to do, just as saving other forms of seed are easy. If you're interested in learning more about saving seeds, there will be a series of workshops coming up this weekend. The first, tailored to farmers, will be Saturday, September 28th from 10 to 2 p.m. and the next, for gardeners, on Sunday, September 29th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the St. Matthew's Anglican Church. For more information on these events, you can email Suzanne Hanna at wildgardener at shaw.ca. Reporting for Shaw TV, I'm Christian LeMay.